Uh, we are here with the setup of the venom collecting machine. And uh, what you are seeing, this is the pan where the bees sting. This is where we collect the venom from. And this is uh, the battery. And the, this pan, for it, it provides a shock. Once the bees come and sting here, it provides a, a shock and they tend to irritate the bees to keep on more stinging. And I'm going to illustrate you on how we use this venom collecting machine. So there is a wire that is connecting the battery onto the pan to provide that current. So uh, if you try to, to rub your tongue onto this pan, there is shock that will tend to shock your tongue. So at least there is uh, some shock that I have experienced that shows that there is current that is being supplied onto this pan. So you make sure that you are protected because for as soon as you connect this, uh, you connect this battery onto this pan, there is uh, that scent that is b going to be produced by this pan that will cause the bees to start stinging. For them, when they get that scent, they always want they get the vigor of stinging. So you need to protect yourself at first. So I'm just going to place my head cover. Then after, I take my pan onto the hive where I'm supposed to collect my venom. And as you're seeing, this is how we do it. At Toro Botanical Gardens. So, immediately you place it there. The bees are going to become more aggressive. And so many will keep on stinging onto the pan then after you may leave it for 15 minutes smoke smoke Are you capturing the camera? Are, are you seeing how aggressive they are after placing the venom extract? Yeah. yeah. Are you capturing the camera? Are you seeing how aggressive they are after placing the venom extract? Yeah. yeah. So, this is how we do it. And uh, after 15 minutes, or after the bees stinging, we are going to, to see that the aggr aggressiveness will have to, to reduce. And uh, these bees will have to come down. So, at uh, this time, they have the urge of stinging the what? the pan and this is how we collect our venom so meanwhile they are stinging the pan you need to have a smoker to calm down most of the bees that are trying to attack you so you may smoke yourself or even the neighbors around So we have uh, illustrated this on a Langstroth hive and after we shall have to take our extractor on uh, a KTB hive too. You have to get it from there and 
After 15 minutes of placing your venom collecting machine, you have to play, you have to get it from the from the hive and try to shake the bees and take it to another hive. Now we are going to place it on a Kenya top bar hive. It is where we shall place it and collect the venom from there. Get the stick. So we may try it here. This is our Kenya top bar hive. And for it, you place it at the entrance. So after placing it at the entrance, you need to get a wooden stick for support. So this is how you provide support on a Kenya top bar. And for long stroth, you may not support it because for it, it is flexible. Unlike a Kenya top bar hive, you need to place it, the pan and support it with a wooden stick. This is how we collect our venom using the Kenya top bar hive. But make sure that the smoker is near you and you need to keep on smoking. Uh, we give it 15 minutes for maximum for maximum stinging of the bees. They need to at least they need at least a time of 15 minutes for them to fully sting on this pan. Uh, this uh, machine is quite expensive and they have different sizes. At times, uh, we have uh, this one, it is from China for it. It is at 3 million Uganda shillings. Yeah. Uh, we measure venom in terms of grams. And for three strong colonies, for three strong colonies, you collect one gram of, of venom. Yeah. 